Hello, my name is Staff Sergeant William Saunders. This is my route planning brief. This is a classified brief, and the purpose of this brief is to develop a route plan to conduct an ambush on a North Torbian squad. The situation is our platoon recently executed a raid on a North Torbian element in a local village. We conducted resupply and are currently located at this point here. The vegetation is dense, so we're going to utilize it throughout the route movement. Our platoon is conducting an ambush to destroy an enemy squad patrol here at this point here. Leg one of our movement is from the start point or our patrol base to checkpoint one. <clears throat> here are the two points of the movement. It is a 730 meter movement at a grid, as grid azimuth of 110 degrees. The observation fields afar are low, but we need to pay attention to both sides of the road. Avenue's approach is the road crossing. crossing. There's no key terrain and no obstacles in the area. Cover concealment is good while we're in the forest from here to here, but when we cross the road, um, there's little or no cover concealment. There's minimal potential for enemy contact. However, since we're crossing a road, we're gonna be in platoon column wedge at traveling overwatch. Here's a 3D map of the road, um, of the movement. We're starting at patrol base or start point here. We're going down this elevation, across this little field, um, across this road and to the woods again. <clears throat> for leg two, we're starting at checkpoint one and going to checkpoint two. Here are the points and it's a 507 meter movement. The grid azimuth is about 22 degrees. The observation fields of fire is close to none due to the dense forest. The avenues approach, um, there are none. There's no key terrain, no obstacles, and the covering concealment is really good due to the entire leg being in the woods. There's minimal potential for enemy contact, so we'll be in platoon file and traveling. Here we can see the movement from checkpoint one to checkpoint two, and this is a 3D map of the movement. We're starting at checkpoint one here and going up this hill to the top of the hilltop. Well, we can use the lack of trees here as a handrail to make sure we aren't going too right or too left. Leg three is from checkpoint two to checkpoint three. Here are the two points of the movement. It's 915 meters, 915 meters. The grid azimuth is 54 degrees. The observation fields of fire are strong, looking down to the other side of the hill without the forestation. There are no avenues of approach except for going up the draw and down the draw, and there's no key turn in the area. There are no obstacles really, but we want to stay away from the side of the hill with no, with no trees. There's minimal potential for enemy contacts will be in platoon file at traveling. Here's a 3D map of the movement. We're starting here at checkpoint two, and we're going across this hill to checkpoint three. Here we can use the hand, the hill top as a, as a handrail. Like forest from checkpoint three to checkpoint four. Here are the two points of, of our check, here are the two points of our checkpoints. Um, it is a 550 meter movement at a grid azimuth of 86 degrees. The observation fields of fire is looking down at the road um, we can talk about that more later as it's a, a key terrain feature. The avenue's approach is a small patch of no trees, and the key terrain is the hill at checkpoint four. Um, it provides good overwatch of the street we're conducting an ambush on. There are no obstacles, and the covering concealment is strong except for the little patch of no trees. There's potential for enemy contact as it's a key terrain feature, so we'll be in platoon column wedge at traveling overwatch. Here's a 3D map of the of the movement. We're starting at Checkpoint three here, we're going down a little elevation and we're going back up this hilltop here. Here's a patch of no trees with little um, covering concealment. Like five is from checkpoint five, uh, checkpoint four to the ORP. Here are the two points of checkpoint four in the ORP. It's a 580 uh, movement and the grid azimuth is 100 degrees. The observation fields of fire are looking down the draw and the avenues of approach are going up and down the draw. There's no key terrain in the area except for um, checkpoint four, which we started. There are no obstacles and the cover and concealment is really good because again, we're in the woods the entire time. There is potential for enemy contact since we're coming from a key terrain feature. So we'll be in platoon column wedge at traveling overwatch. <clears throat> Here's a 3D map of our movement. We're starting at this hill here, which is the key terrain feature, and we're going down to the ORP. An alternative route with the primary route for comparison is basically the same thing, except we're going to be utilizing different hills. Um, we're gonna start here at the start point or the patrol base. We're going to be hitting this hill here. We're then going to go to this hill here and then meet back up at checkpoint four for a primary route and then go to the ORP. It's essentially the same route, except it's a little longer and we don't have the handrails of this hill here. In conclusion, when crossing roads and open fields, we want to utilize the unit SOP when cross for LEAs. You want to stay in that terrain when possible. And if the status of the enemy changes and conflicts with the route, we want to utilize an alternative route. We also want to make sure to utilize natural handrails. This concludes my brief pending any further questions.